Welcome back everyone, it's Day again, and I'm trying to determine if this is actually the case, and I think it is, standing in torches damages you. 95% sure on that. Unless there's something standing outside of my house attacking me. Which, nope, no there isn't. So, just uh, be aware, torches do damage to you if you're standing in them. And I just realized that I didn't do that. Alright, uh, harvest in a bunch more wood. Need to get sand. I mined a bunch of stone off camera, just pretty much going down deeper into, uh, into my house, really. Uh, going down in the floor to get more stone. You can see I have 29 cobble right now. I'll have to turn some of that into a furnace and then cook it up to get actual stone pieces so we can start making some protection blocks. Really want to do that before I do too much on the building side of things. Because obviously I don't want someone to just come in and wreck stuff. Because that would be uncool. And I feel like i just seen something flying around off on the right-hand side of the screen. There is something out there. I don't know what that is, but I don't think it knows I'm here. For all I know, it's not even a... Oh, that is totally a hostile creature. Well, he seems to be leaving me alone, so... I guess I'll let him live. Wait, you can't walk through... Hmm, that's a change from default. Not that it's a bad change. Ah, I could use... I could. I could use the bamboo as like... Uh, like bars on a cage. I could use it for like cage walls. Instead of doing glass. Though I can't imagine what the benefit would be. To doing that instead of using glass. But it would be possible. It would completely be doable. Alright, just to clean the area. Now, I gotta figure out how I want to make this... How do I want to make this look? I'm, gonna, I think, I'm thinking 10 by 10 plots. That might be too big, though. I'll really have to experiment with some dirt first. But before I do anything, I really need to get those protection blocks. So as soon as I get this tree, that should be enough trees out of here. It's everything on this side. Oh wait, nope, gotta get this one gone. As soon as this one's gone, that'll let all the leaves go away. And I'll grab the saplings. I don't know if I'm really gonna need them. There seems to be a lot of wood just sitting around out here anyways that's not being used. And I think there's a cave system right over here. Which, if there is, that could be the perfect place to go and find iron. The mines would be a good place too, but I had really bad experiences in the mines. Oh, so it's all water there. Hmm. What do we have here? Okay, so this isn't really a cave. It's just a small outcropping. A bunch of my armor got wrecked from standing in the torches. Which I'll demonstrate again. Torches deal damage. Did not realize that until I uh, took a whole bunch of damage from standing in torches. Uncool, very uncool, but have to uh, have to admit, and in real life, if you were standing on top of a torch, you would probably get burnt. So it's not a totally unrealistic what is this a skunk it's no skunk a badger you know what i want to see how they make a magic lasso whoops whoops didn't want to do that 
Lasso. Ooh. That ain't cheap. How am I ever going to raise that kind of funds? I mean... Man, that's... That is really not cheap. But I guess it is magical. If magical things were cheap and everybody could attain them, they kind of lose some of their magicalness. Hmm, nice little underground grotto. However, absolutely no iron. Some coal deposits over here. I don't think I need coal, though, so I'm probably good on that. I could make myself a shovel and just start harvesting a lot of sand. Because I will need that. Oh, you know something that I do need to do? Can I even set a home? I don't know if I've tried that before. Set home. Alright, good. So we have a home position set. I wonder if we can do... We can. Beautiful. Alright. So we have spawn and we have home. So let us go back to the mines. I forget which one we were at. I think it was negative 200. Where I died. Oh, so many times. Had to jump across there. Oh yeah. It's all coming back. Run over here. Just look at all this iron. Dude, so much. My bones are still there, but there's so many of those creeps. Dude, there's just so many creeps in here. Something's dying, though. Sword at the ready. What, what was it? What? Oh, couldn't even see the torch because I was... My angle. Oh, man, that's... That's tricky. Because I couldn't see that there was a torch there. And it was burning me because I was standing in it. I just saw some iron, too. Where was it? It was sitting out someplace where there wasn't... There we go. Okay, I guess I take back where there wasn't any. Oh, is that diamond? No, no way is that diamond. That's got to be tin. What about this stuff up here? Can I skirt across? Let's try that. I really... really don't feel like dying more from these guys. I will need to make a few torches. Eight should be sufficient. Is it really going to be sufficient? No idea. Absolutely no idea. That is copper. Ah, uh, yeah, I hears ya. I hear you, you little freakazoids. Well, with any luck, this will work, and I won't die. And without luck, it won't work, and uh, yeah, I'll die. Again. And I should probably change my map to the radar mode. All right. Am I close enough that when I dig this, I'll actually get it? I think I harvested that. Double check, we're checking. Yep, copper lump. Beautiful. Okay, now the question is, where did the... I know I've seen iron here. Oh, there's so much there. So much iron. And there's just literally no way for me to get it without being straight up just murdered. Gold? Dude. Yeah, I'll take gold. 
I should also watch where I'm walking so I don't fall off the edge. That would be most unpleasant. A little bit of gold. I mean, yeah, yeah who's going to turn down gold? And there was some coal. Fortunately for me, I have plenty of cobble now. So no worries here. Grab this. Grab that for sure. I saw iron. Where did I see it? More coal? I'll take it. Okay, I'm confused. I saw iron from over there. Why haven't I hit it yet? Like, what was I seeing if it wasn't this? Am I too high? I don't know. I'm confused. I might just have to... to run back over here. Where did I see that iron? Wait, where did I see that iron? Oh, way up there. I need to go higher. That's why. Okay. So I need to go up, up, up. Up, up, up. Make a little stairway right through here. Just like that. And then a little cutaway here on the side. And um, throw a light out. I should be getting close. If I can harvest that without dying, That'll be perfect, because that'll give me enough iron to at least get a protection block going. And that's really all I need to start with, is just one. One or two. Or like six or seven, I mean, whatever. One would cover for my house, I think. I'm not planning a super elaborate house, I don't think. Not for starters, anyways. As I continue on, yeah, I'll... I'll upgrade and improve. Oh, yeah, and I do need the gold to make that magic. I'm going to have to watch my resources. Because I do want to get the magic lasso. So I can actually start capturing animals. But at the same time, I need iron for, for so many things. Tools. Tools you want to use iron for. Protection blocks need iron. I don't know what else. Iron doors? I probably do need iron doors, actually. Because I don't know what there is around that will want to get into the... Um, I don't know, I'll just consider it like the visitor center. But, uh, yeah, that's going to have to be locked off so people can't just waltz right in. Now, I wonder which version of the protection... Yeah, I don't know. Because I know 10 plus 1 has a uh, protection redo, I think he has it, it's called. And with that mod, if you try digging a protected node, you actually get flipped around backwards. So you can't glitch through people's protected areas which is something you can do otherwise most of the time by just mining quick you can actually just glitch right through which is really kind of unfair because you shouldn't be able to glitch through things at all but that's the state of things and so it flips you around backwards so say you're digging a node on a wall and you try to get in flips you backwards and now you're walking away from the node you just dug and that gives the server time to catch up and realize oh hey he shouldn't have uh, been able to dig through this node he just dug through and replaces the node 
ones are out of reach and I don't know what's below me. Like if there's not solid block here, I could dig a hole and then pretty much fall down there and lose everything I have again. Which I don't want to do. Take all those torches, thank you. I need the light. I'm going to try digging that note. I cannot reach those bones and there's nothing below me that I can stand on. Maybe I can go across here. I just really want to get more iron. I need so much iron. How much do I have? 12? What was the lasso? That's going to take up four. That'll give me eight protection blocks, which was going to give me a really good area. Do I have... I have three string. Oh, I don't have any sticks. But I do have wood. Okay, that's not a problem then. Can I do that? Hmm. I think that should be completely doable at this point. I should probably just stop being greedy and go home while I'm ahead. Because otherwise I'm going to end up killing myself out here and lose everything. Still can't reach the bones. <laughs> Why can't I reach my bones? Alright, let's pop a torch right on there. Okay, that's just garbage. I don't think I'm going to reach the bones at all, but gonna try. Because there was a lot of good stuff in those bones. I honestly have no idea what was in those bones. I don't remember anymore. And that just goes... Uh, I'm not going to reach that. Oh, but I can reach that. Yeah! Let's see about here. Does that just go through? It does. A little more iron. I just need more iron. Ooh, ooh. More iron. Yay! Alright, I think that's all I'm going to be able to get. I mean, I don't see anybody down there. But is it worth it? No, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to set a home position with unified inventory. Because that home position is different than the home position that you get by using the set home command. Handy little tidbit to know, if you did not already know that. You can actually have two homes set by doing that little cheat right there. Okay, time to build a furnace. Which, this whole construction is going to go bye-bye. I'm just going to plop this out wherever, it doesn't matter. And let's cook down some materials. I need more string. How long have we been going? Almost 20 minutes? There was string around here someplace, I thought. I could kill the poor sheep, but I think I just get... Oh, I didn't even get any wool out of that guy? Oh, man, I feel bad now. There was, there was no reason to kill him. Well, I suppose... The meat doesn't hurt to have. Like, I mean, you gotta eat. And I may as well put that back to a normal mini-map. What is this thing? A sleeping owl? Uh, I guess. Alright, well, we'll leave that alone. There's no point to hurt the owl. Not yet, anyways. No, I'm kidding. There's no reason to hurt an owl. String, string... Can I craft string? Or is that something I just have to find? Um, I honestly don't know. Bite string vine. No. Oh, maybe it's called cotton. I think that's what it's referred to. Yep. Mm, I would like to... Here we go. You can get it by digging a web. 
And then you can make the cotton into a web. So I have to find a web. Um, I just need one. I just need one. Oh, you stupid slime. Stay away. That poor badger is going to die. That stupid duck's probably going to attack me. I need a piece of string. Just one itty bitty little piece of string. What is this? Have I just stumbled upon my own cave system? It would appear that way. All right, well, now is not the time to go spurlunking. Ooh, but there's iron in it. All right, well, let's get out of there. Sword in hand. A big slime. Yeah. And a cow. Sorry, man. But, you know, a guy's got to eat. Ooh. And leather. Let's throw all the raw meat in there. Let's grab this. Oh, I got to cook stone down, too. leaves I could have sworn I seen string somewhere around here I just don't remember where where was I where did I come from did I cross the the ice um, well whatever I guess it doesn't really matter the first thing to do actually I need to collect a bunch of sand. That's sandstone. Sandstone does me zero good at this moment. And honestly, I should build a torch too. Or uh, a torch. A chest. Um You know what? Let's throw the tin in there. I can use the tin to make tin armor, so it's not entirely useless. I wonder if I, I don't think you can make tin tools. Tin is pretty much a useless ore. It's used for batteries and technic and armor. And I don't even think tin armor is like any good. Uh, it gives you radiation protection or something, but most servers that I have experienced don't let you build the nuclear reactor anyway because the, uh, the nuclear waste that can be created if somebody griefs the... Um, the nuclear actor itself is just it's super dangerous it, like starts everything on fire pretty much kills you wow I can dig it as fast as my shovel dog uh, it doesn't really matter what army you have it it's pretty much a done deal if you're exposed to it it's super dangerous stuff so most of the time it is just it's turned off because it's easy to grief with once you get it Which honestly don't know how you can even pick that stuff up because it should just kill you you should just be eliminated. All right, let's cook 77 sand. I need to keep some of that in reserve, though. Eat some food. There we go. All right, let's. I'm not gonna have enough of that. Build the chest real quick. Ah, oh, you know what? I wonder if I can do. Uh... I don't think I can. Nope. Nope. Again, tin's pretty useless. What do I have for armor? I think it's all destroyed. Yeah. Let's do... Tin leggings. What? Thought you could make tin armor. Oh, really? You can't even... Okay, never mind then. Tin armor is not a thing. So pretty much I have tin that I don't think I can use for anything. What is this? No, not the horse. I don't think I want to find out what it is. Oh, a little slime. I don't know what I just took damage from. Sorry, fella, but 
I mean, if you want to mess with someone, uh, you know, someone's gonna uh, pretty much gonna take you out. Uh, I have run out of space. All right, we'll throw the chest there real quick. I can throw some of this garbage in there. I'm not really worried about somebody coming around and stealing some of this stuff. Like, really, why would you want to steal rotten flesh or dirt? And if you do, I've. I guess whatever. I'll deal with it. Now, I believe we do that. Yep. 16 glass plane panes. Do I want to use glass panes? I think so. I should probably find... Can I... Ooh, I don't think I can. I think once it's turned into glass panes, it stays glass panes. Well, okay, those had better work now because I just made a bunch of them. That's enough of those. Wait, 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 what was this? Oh, circle stone bricks. Hmm. Protection block. Yay. Okay, I want to see what kind of building things can I get. Can I make the... I can make the stone tiles. I like stone tiles. Um, I used them... Oh, I think I got all my... No! I got all my stone sitting in... No, wait, I threw a bunch in that chest. Uh, whatever. I'll let whatever I got cook. That's fine. This. Let's just do all. I like these blocks. It's a very nice texture. And that's what I'm going to build with. And then we'll use protection blocks. You know, sand might actually not be a bad, bad material to use to figure out the spacing. Nighttime is falling though, so I think we are going to head inside and pick up with another episode in the morning. So yeah, let me go hide inside in my little hidey hole safe house. Like as I mentioned, I did, did do a little dig in here. Just block the door off so no baddies get in. Alright, catch you guys in the morning. Thanks for watching my video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you consider giving it a thumbs up? I appreciate all those I can get. I'm on social media, peoples. Follow me. Google+, Twitter, Facebook. I always post all of my videos on those platforms, or links to my videos on those platforms, as soon as they go live. Which this means prior to the release on YouTube. You can watch them before anybody else. You can also visit my website, NathanSalpat.com and see all my videos there. Really nice website if I do say so myself. I did design it so I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it's it's decent. If there is a mod you would like me to review, just click on the request review button right there. Takes a two form on my website. You just type in the information, hit the submit button. I get it. I look at it. Record a review. Post it online. You watch. We all profit. The world's a better place. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit. But, hey, do it anyways. There's You got nothing to lose. I'll catch you next time.